Volume of a pyramid. I'm not so sure that when they built the pyramids, they were actually thinking about the volume, but maybe they were. Maybe they weren't calling it volume. Maybe they were saying, how much stuff can we fit inside of this thing? I don't know. But I do know that if I take three pyramids, these are actually pyramids. They look a little wonky because of the way they're sitting and it's a drawing, but they are exactly the same. These three things are pyramids. Each one of them is fit into this rectangular prism. So the two yellow pieces come together to form this side. This purple one is here, the blue is on top. This one is on the other side that you can't see. So this side back here is the back of your green and the rest of it is over on this side that you can't see as well. So the same, they are all the exact same pyramids. So three pyramids fit together to form one rectangular prism, which is where our formula for a pyramid for volume of a pyramid comes from. I'll write this a little bit larger so you can see it. Volume equals one third base, area of the base times height. This is area of the base, if you'll remember from our last volume videos about rectangular prisms and other uh, hexagonal prisms, all those other prisms. So that formula, formula of a prism was area, volume equals area of the base times height. The volume of a pyramid is one third of that because three pyramids can fit together to form one prism. So we would multiply by one third or divide by three. All right, let's find the volume of this pyramid. It tells us that our base is 48. So our equation is one third times the area of the base times the height. The area of our base here is 48. So the volume of this pyramid is one third times the volume of our, or the area of our base, which is 48, times the height. All right, our height, we do know our height. Our height is nine. So we're gonna pull out our calculator here. We are going to calculate this. All right, 48 times nine times one third. equals 144. It says 143.999986, but I actually changed one third to 0.3333 and I probably didn't put enough threes in there because it rounded, it was rounded down. If I would have put more threes in there, it would have come up with 144 for the volume of this pyramid. And it is millimeters cubed. It is volume, so it is always cubed. All right, let's talk about the volume of these pyramids. Get this calculator out of the way. All right, our equation, volume equals one-third base times the height. My base is, this is a rectangular pyramid, so my base is three times four. So one third times the area of my base, which is 12, times my height, which is seven. One third of 12 is four, and four times seven is 28. 28 feet cubed, or 28 cubic feet is the, is the volume of that particular pyramid. All right, this pyramid is a triangular pyramid. The area of our base is going to be the area of a triangle, which is one half base of the triangle times the height of the triangle. The height of the triangle is six. The base of the triangle is 17.5. 17, 17 and we are timesing that by one half to get the area of our base. So half of six is three. So we've got 17.5 times three, and that is 52.5. All right, good 
Going back to our original equation, one-third area of the base times height. Area of our base is 52.5. So it's one-third times 52.5 times our height is 10. 52.5 times 10 is 525. And five, one third of 525 That is not right. Okay, 525 divided by 3, which is the same as multiplying by 1 third, we get 175 meters cubed for the area of that pyramid. 